and what's up everybody it's your boy Uchi and my brother Uch and we are back again once again how y'all doing today so we got some good news and no bad news well actually not yeah no not really bad news the good news is this has nothing to do with boruto well i guess that's the bad news the good news is that dragon ball super episode 90 reaction is back again once again aka the kid stepped up to the giant known as toei and said yeah and it's back online yeah that was cool big brother geekdom also got his video back up so go check his stuff out because i mean big brother geekdom is the man when it comes to dragon ball and all his stuff that he covers. But right now, we're about to react to Boruto. And you know what I got for this episode? Check this out. Uh, I'll be covering a broken review about these. So let's get right into it. Oh, okay, so Boruto's already about to start talking about his jump. I like the little doodles. I'm, I like how Shikadai is already trying to figure this John out. Huh? Who that? Boy. Ugh, this dude's breathing weird. Oh, yo, look at this creep. Boy. Yo, does Miss Class Rep have a freaking name yet? Oh, shit. Yo. But to catch these hands, there's no way you cannot miss catching that hand. Oh yeah, so this this the episode that they're supposed to, was it Love and Chicken? Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember it? Like it's like it's like oh Love and Potato Chips. <laughs> I thought chicken because that girl looked like she eats a lot of chicken. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't eat chicken in anime? Everybody in freaking anime eats mad chicken. Shit, if we was in anime, we'd be eating chicken. We'd be like Goku. Boy. This episode episode seven Love and Potato Chips. So I mean. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me now. We said last week that this was going to be like low-key filler. Even though there's really no such thing as fillers right now in Boruto. But, I mean, if... No, nah, no. It's it's not. I, it, we're not going to talk about that. So, you think they're going to redo the movie, kind of? You know, that would be cool if they did. Because Dragon Ball Super did it with Resurrection F and Battle of God. So it would be nice to see. I would just want to breathe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Chocho has think she has a stalker a potato chip fair they got fairs for all right japan that flavor looked low-key disgusting uh, thanks. what you saw it was all green yo <laughs> 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 Yo, Bruh. she got sympathy for these chips. I, I can now understand why the title of this freaking episode is called Love and Chips. You know, she probably could have killed that person. That's a whole vending machine. Those things weigh a lot. Magide. Yeah, he's a creep. He really is a creep. Oh, God. Is that her name? Mm. Thank God, we finally have a name for her. Sumide, almost like Summer. Oh my God, what kind of episode is this? This is like Dateline Boruto, a special. <laughs> <laughs> and he got rich. <laughs> Yo, Sumide just say yeet. I can see what the premise of this whole freaking episode is about now. Yo, why he running like that though? I don't know. He might be. He might be targeted. But he went through some ish. You know what I'm saying? Are they all drawing the stone faces of the past Hokages? <laughs> oh my God! Yo, this dude is on a next level creep status. Hard. Yo, is this guy for real? Yo, this dude got some creep creep no jutsu, man. I don't know, he needs to be locked up behind bars. This is like how you start a horror film, too. This dude's gonna stalk and like kill everybody, try to get with her, and still get yeeted at the end. 
Look at look at this horror movie. Boruto gone horror, John. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Boy. Better kidnap her. Oh my god. Yo, whoever wrote this episode knows he, he definitely wrote a uh, horror John before this. Oh boy. Yo, he got knocked the f out. Oh, creep! Creep! Oh. He, oh, I knew it. Yeah, so he definitely, definitely got taken over, though. Damn. Yeah, that's a dope John. She could have got to look for the shadows. First, we're gonna have to use that eye. Mm hmm. So we can at least see the shadow. Yup. What are they all doing? Uh oh. Yo. <laughs> Damn, she bodied him with words. And she got him a bag of chips. Wow. Someone whoop this man some tissue no jutsu, please. Yeah, please don't. Mitsuki, like, really paying close attention to what Boruto does. Like, studying him or something. Yeah. Okay, so... It could be a chakra. It's not really an aura, then. Here comes a doodle. Ta! <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's talking to somebody. He's talking to the snake. Or He's pro probably Orchimaru. Orchimaru. Yeah. I like how we both thought that at the same time. <laughs> That's how you know. That's how you freaking know. You got these deductions out here. Episode wasn't as bad. As I thought it was gonna be. Because we can't take away from this. You learned that sometimes in life, you just gotta take a chance. And even if it fails, at least you tried. And you keep going. And there's always another bag of chips. Like that? Like that? Like that? Wait, what'd you think about the episode? Okay. It was alright. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, aside from the, the analogies, we did learn a little bit more about the dark aura. And we can now say more confidently that this is now dark chakra instead of dark aura. But obviously somebody's doing that. Yeah, I mean, we... It's like an emotional kind of thing. Yeah, like, we thought, we thought the same thing. We thought that somebody is targeting these people. Somebody's yeah, doing this. Someone's behind it's it. it's more easily, like, targeted because they're angry. Yeah, it's, it's, it's easier really... to target those that have gone through something to put them in that state of mind. They go through some despair, no hope. All that kind of stuff. All right, so let's see what's up in, when, in episode eight next week. Uh oh. Oh, Hinata. Naruto. Kimiwari or Himiwa. Oh, oh, yo, I don't know. That was close. The dream revelation. Get the Biakugan? Nah, I don't think he's about to get the Biakugan. But remember, he also thought this himself. He did think that he has the Biakugan. So next episode, it looks like he's going to ask more questions. And now him, his sister, his mama, and Naruto are all about to be involved in this John. And they're about to take part in, I guess, figuring out what the hell Boruto actually has. And Right now, they're calling it, they're saying that he's being weird, he's acting weird, but we're going to get down to the bottom of this next week. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you let us know what you think about the episode today. Like, share, subscribe, hit us up on Twitter and Discord, especially on Discord. Let us know what you guys thought about the, today's episode, and we'll see y'all next time.